Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. This is October of 2020. And are you still like me who is running Windows 7 on your computer and just tired of all the pop-ups and uh, incompatibility which is there because as you know that Windows 7 is no longer supported by Microsoft. So if you want to upgrade this to Windows 10 and without going to any of those funny sites and totally legitimate, you can do that by going to Microsoft website. And as I said that it is totally uh, compatible with Windows 7. I'm using Windows 7, but in case you're using Windows 8 or even Windows 8.1 and want to upgrade to the latest version of Windows 10 with all the security features of this, this is the website you have to go. And uh, don't worry, I will leave the link in the description box so that uh, it is handy for you. So after you go to this website, the only thing you have to do is create Windows 10 installation media and click on this download tool. And this is not a big file, it's just an 18.5 MB. And go and uh, open this. And you just have to run. Upgrading from Windows 7 to Windows 10 uh, uh, take a bit of time. So my recommendation is that uh, you want to connect this to a power outlet. So in case you run out the battery, nothing will be destructive. So make sure that you have connected to this power outlet. Okay, at this stage, it is asking you to accept the licensing agreement. You just need to go, you can go and read through this, but uh, it's uh, totally, as I said, that legitimate. So you don't need to worry because we are on the Microsoft website and you accept it. And it's just gonna take a couple of things to get ready. At this step, you can just go and upgrade this PC now. If you want to create an installation media, like you want to save it on a USB or a DVD drive, you can do that. But I'm not going to do I'm just going to upgrade this from Windows 7 to Windows 10 and click on Next. And uh, this is, uh, as I said, that uh, this process takes a bit of time. So definitely you want to connect this to a power outlet. And another thing I just want to point out over here is that uh, I'm running Windows 7 Ultimate. Now, whatever version or the licensing is compatible on the Windows 10 side, whether it's professional or enterprise, I'll be upgraded to that version. So you don't need to worry about that. You'll be downgraded or something like that. Uh, it will be uh, of the same version on Windows 10 that you're using. And as I said, that though I'm using Windows 7, uh, you if, if even if you're using Windows 8 or 8.1, you'll still be able to use the same steps and upgrade to Windows uh, 10 in that. Uh, other thing, just a small thing, uh, in case uh, you have any application or data that you want to save it, there will, will be a point that will come uh, during this upgradation that uh, it will ask you, do you want to keep the data or you want to completely wipe it and do a fresh installation of Windows 10. So in case you have some important stuff on this, you don't need to worry about you'll be able to still keep it and still make sure that you are upgraded to the latest version of Windows 10 and all the security features and uh, latest updates come, which comes with the latest version. So I hope this video was helpful and uh, because it costs otherwise on an average where you recite 100 to $150 to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10, this option is totally free of cost. And uh, hopefully for people who are using older version of uh, Windows 7, Windows 8 or 8.1. This was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.